hashtag Protect Taylor Swift was trending yesterday on X after graphic AI generated photos of the pop star circulated Thursday morning. We're not going to show the not safe for work images here, but suffice to say, Swifties quickly came to the pop star's defense. They moved to bury the doctored images of Swift by flooding the platform with positive posts of Taylor. Taylor Swift is just one of various celebrities and public figures to be the target of deep fakes. Just last week, robocalls were made in which doctored audio of Biden's voice urged voters in New Hampshire to save their vote for November. So AI, of course, is changing the landscape on the internet. It was a huge problem in Hollywood when they thought they would have to sign away their names and likeness to producers and you know, owners of studios to continue to produce media with their voice and their face and their body, even if they weren't getting any money from it. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And so very scary to have something like this, obviously not safe for work images. You guys know what we're talking about with that. Terrifying. There was a situation also on Twitch where a streamer had this kind of deep fake made of her. And actually another prominent male Twitch streamer was on a live and accidentally panned over to another tab where he had the footage up. And so even more unsettling to consider just who could view this, who could consume this and find it and not know if it's real or fake. And so I think Taylor Swift has the kind of resources necessary for a lawsuit like this to make waves and potentially go to the Supreme Court. Yeah, I mean, to me, this is basically just another form of revenge porn. Just the fact that it's not their real body, it's still disgusting and, and completely unethical. I would definitely argue it should be illegal. And I have been quite critical of Taylor Swift for some of the ways that she uses her immense resources, whether it's her very irresponsible private jet travel as she advocates voting for candidates to address climate change, or if it's the overconsumption that she encourages among her fans by releasing seven versions of the same album and deeming them collectibles. This would be a positive use of all of that money she has to be the trailblazer to take this to court and, and hold people accountable for this disgusting behavior. I mean, to me, it's, it's different, I guess, um, to have a real nude image circulated on the, the internet as opposed to one generated by AI, but that doesn't reduce the harm that it does to the individual um, who's having that image circulated. Yeah, absolutely. This is something that, you know, Taylor Swift's not looking for money fighting this. She's not looking for a settlement. No amount of money is going to be able to fix the kind of damage that something like this can cause. And it's a really difficult legal matter, but one that the law is not caught up to. That's true of, of many women on the internet and who are public figures, especially with the level of stalking that's possible through the internet. I've had my apartment broken into. I've had to move because of this. And if you go to the police about it, they can't do anything. They tell you, you know, unless something happens, we don't have any duty to investigate. And so you're as safe as you make yourself. With something like this, of course, it's not directly threatening her physical you know, well-being. This is not someone stalking her. Of course, she's dealt with that and pays a significant sum of money on security. But what's going on here is something that's like psychologically damaging to the extreme and something that we need preventative measures taken so that it never gets produced, that it never gets put out there. Because once it's out there, what, what kind of justice is going to come of this? Uh, you need to be able to erase it from the internet before it's seen by anyone. How do you do that? It doesn't need to be intense surveillance and web scraping, which I'm sure makes everybody terribly nervous. And so there's not a lot of good solutions, but I don't even think Congress is equipped to come up with any because they're all terribly old. Yeah, they have no idea what's going on on social media. They don't even know how to use their Gmail. If we take past uh, testimonies from members of, of big tech companies um, as an example of how little Congress knows about the internet. To me, I think this is a just another form of sexual harassment. Um, it's, it's humiliating. It's uh, shameful and embarrassing to know that pictures like that would be shared uh, about you around the internet without your consent, without your permission. Again, even though they're not real, I don't think that changes the emotional and mental harm that that does to somebody. 
Um, I just can't imagine if someone if someone did that to me. And I mean, again, hopefully because of the huge platform that she has, it helps raise awareness of this issue. I remember there was a similar case, I think it was a couple of years ago, from a girl whose ex-boyfriend had created these deep fakes of her performing sex acts and sharing them to humiliate her um, with her family members. He had sent them to her family and also posted them on the internet. Um, and I mean, that's the kind of thing that can ruin someone's life. Um, there's obviously a deep stigma against things like sex work or posting nude pictures on the internet. And we might have different opinions on whether or not that stigma should exist, but it is just the reality that there are missed opportunities. There are relationships that can be damaged that come from engaging in that type of behavior. And so for someone to fraudulently accuse you of doing that by using this AI technology um, is so despicable and wrong that I, I would be hard pressed to hear an argument for the alternative that this is just free use of the internet. Yeah, it's, it's very weird being a woman public figure because now that we have this OnlyFans thing, I don't know if you get this, I get so many DMs that are like, OnlyFans, what's the OnlyFans? And comments, and it's like, that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to talk about politics, I make jokes, comedic skits, I'm not here to do that. And if I was, you would know, but I'm not. And to assume you're entitled to a woman's body just because she's there for entertainment is ridiculous and disgusting. And I think, you know, the assumption that every woman would have an OnlyFans, not true, of course, but to then go and make your own, through AI, because you think you're entitled to Taylor Swift's body because she's an entertainer is really just disgusting and ridiculous and uh, very misogynistic as well. Just the fact that someone would take the initiative to do this is gross on a real human level. And it sucks that we even have to consider something like this. And in the world of AI, I only think we're going to see crime get weirder and more sophisticated beyond our worst imaginations. And so someone like Taylor Swift Unfortunately, being the victim of this, I wish she wasn't, but now that she is, her resources should be really thrown towards this legal battle to protect all of her fans and, and what their future might be as a woman who has a presence on the internet at all. Yeah, unfortunately, I've actually had people create Instagram accounts where they took the pictures of me off of my Instagram Instagram account and then linked to a fake OnlyFan page to try to, I guess, scam subscribers into thinking that they could see me in compromising positions. Wow. And luckily, I mean, I was able to employ my friends. We could block the account, report it. They got taken down by Instagram. But it was this, um, this group, I guess, that was doing it to multiple female conservative commentators. And it was incredibly disturbing stuff. I also think that this is a side effect of our porn addicted culture. I mean, with the mm -hmm. way that internet that porn has proliferated. We have a lot of young people who, I mean, I call it porn brain, where they have this kind of mindset where they can only think about women in a sexual context. And they do believe that um, women should only exist on the internet if to provide them some kind of sexual pleasure. And there's a lot of work that has to be done to undo that type of mindset and that type of uh, rewiring of the brain that occurs with excessive porn usage, in addition to the potential legal fight that is coming ahead with Taylor Swift being involved in this. Yeah, absolutely. I've always said that, you know, if you're going to assume that good sex is like what porn has. Uh, it's like assuming that going to a hibachi restaurant, that that's how you make a really good meal. Like people do things differently when people are watching. That's not how it goes. I think it's very bad. It adds to this kind of incel problem we have in the United States, otherwise put the epidemic of young male loneliness. It's a real problem that has violent consequences. Uh, if you're Taylor Swift and or anyone where this happens, I'm sure it's awful. It's some form of violence. It does cause damage to your life. And so it's really sad. Hopefully, you know, something will come of it legally. I hope that there is a case that sets a precedent because I think that's a faster path to action than unfortunately Congress doing anything about it. Yep, I'm with you. All right, we'll be back. More rising after this.